Hi, welcome to Creative View with Pacific Fabrics. I'm Erin Hubner and I'm coming to you from our Soto store. Today we're talking about a fun project for gifts for the upcoming holidays. I know a lot of people are making masks for friends and family. We're going to give you a way to make it a little bit extra special. And that includes, I made a little pouch so that when you have your mask, it looks a little bit fancier, it gives you a place to set it down so it's not just in your pocket or where it can get dirty. But the best thing is we're making a nice mesh wash bag. And as you can see, I use the scraps from the mask so I can make it so it could match. This can be great when you're washing them to make sure things like your nose wires and your ear cord locks don't get lost in the washing machine. It also makes it easier to grab them if you're using them in the same load as your regular washing. So what I did after I made my mask is that I took one of the kits that we're gonna have available online and it includes the mesh and a zipper. We normally don't sell zippers on our web store, so this is the easiest way to do it. So you can make a mesh bag of your own using any sort of scraps from a mask or any of the other ones you want to use. We have a project sheet that comes with the kit, so that it'll include some photos for the most difficult parts. For this project, what I used is I used Solstice fabric because it was nice and bright. This is also available on our web store. I used the, and I used yellow for the lining for the mask to make it so much easier to sew the mesh because it can be very difficult to pin and likes to wiggle. I use Steema Seam Too Light to hold everything in place. What that meant is when I opened up my binding and I laid down a line of Steema Seam, put my mesh in there, I folded it, and then I just ironed it. I did make sure that my iron was not touching the mesh, but just the fabric. When I was done with that, this is what I ended up with. It has not been sewn at all, but as you can see, everything is holding it in place. That made it 10 times easier to take over to the sewing machine and get a nice straight line. Steema Seam Too Light is my secret weapon in almost all my projects. It can make things so much easier. Not only did I use it for the zipper, I also used it on the edges, and it's why everything looks square shape in the end instead of a little wonky. I also used my regular presser foot for the zipper and my blind hem foot for edge stitching. That's all I needed. Zipper foot was not necessary, so if you're scared of it, don't worry. I'm gonna show you an easy way to put on a zipper without using one. Obviously I used my Kai thread snips and my rotary cutter. That was to cut out the mesh and the fabric made things a lot quicker. I also used on the mask some of our fun new elastic. This is great because you can make it so it matches your mask. It makes it stand out a little bit more. If you are making a mask in, with a lining, it is very easy to make a little pocket for your nose wire to go in. All I do is for my top stitching at the top, I do it half an inch away from the edge. What that allows me to do is slide my nose wire in. It's not gonna come out in the wash, but it will definitely make things so much easier. And especially if you're wearing glasses, will avoid your mask from fogging up. The easiest way to put the cord locks on the thread is to, on your mask is to take some thread. You are going to insert it through the small end so it goes out the larger end. You're going to wrap that around your elastic and then go back through. Then, you get one more to grab, you just pull. It's that easy to attach a cord lock. It's not going to come off. If you're making a mask, especially for a gift, these are wonderful because they make them a lot more adjustable. So you don't have to worry if someone needs more elastic or not, or if the elastic is getting a little old, you can just tighten it a little bit longer. And it definitely extends the lifetime of your mask. So if you're going to give masks for the upcoming holidays, 
I highly recommend making a lovely wash bag for it. You can fit quite a few in there so you can do your mask load all by itself, keep them separate. And then after masks are no longer necessary, you will still find tons of uses to be able to use them. Thank you for joining us for Creative View at Pacific Fabrics.